Welcome to Chipsy Felting, I'm Joyce. And today I'm gonna to talk about carding for needle filters. So if you're into fiber arts at all, you know about some of the bigger tools that um, some of the people use. Like this right here, this is a drum carter. Uh, we also have like the next scale down is hand carters. So these are professional hand carters that you would use to, to card things with. And what carding is, is carding is kind of blending um, fibers together in order to produce like either a row lag or a bat or usually it's a preparation for spinning but these are kind of big for needle filters because we're working on kind of little things maybe small scale and when I first started off needle filting I did not have the budget for these kind of things what I used were these these are pet brushes and they look exactly like the tines on the drum carter and the hand carters. So I'm gonna show you how to use these to blend some fibers together and make your own little creative little bats for using in your needle felting projects. Okay, so this is my drum carter and I'm not gonna necessarily do a whole drum carting video for you, um, but I do wanna show you how kind of it works. So this one works on, you hand crank it, you feed things into it. Kind of like here is a nice pile of things that would be great to feed into it. Um, and what it does is it straightens and stretches the, the fibers. So if I was going to take this, I would take it and spread it out really thin on here and I would roll it onto here until it got really thick. This is what you would pull off of it eventually. This is a bat that I made on my drum carter and I put a lot of different little fibers into it and it's actually kind of, kind of, they kind of stretch when you take them off. So this would have been one side of it and this would have been the other and it's got kind of really pretty layers and it's got colors in it and it's great, but there's a lot of it. So when you're working on a tiny little project that's only this big, you don't really need like two and a half ounces of wool. Um, so I'm going to show you how to m do it on a little bit of a smaller scale. Not that this isn't a beautiful bat. So I find that being a needle filter is a little bit like being a fiber magpie, which means that anything that's woolen or fiber related, I collect it just like a magpie does shiny objects. And I take it and I put it into my needle felting nest or my bag of possibilities. And maybe you have one of these bags at home where Everything is just kind of in bits and pieces and it's a little bit of a mess. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and I'm gonna show you how you can use card, hand carters and dog brushes to kind of make some order out of this chaos. So if you do have hand carters, then you can certainly use your hand carters in order to card some things together. So what I do is I just take my little random bits and I'm gonna push those out and so you can see it. And just as if I was carding, I put these little areas on here. So you don't have to fill up the whole brush, but you can certainly get a good start on this. You can take other little kind of pieces. And here is some, this is a really good color. And even some curly locks and stuff, these will just blend right in. I kind of don't want this little tiny piece, but throw that one back, take those. So what you're gonna do is you take your hand carters and just on the edge, you don't have to go all the way down, but just on the very edge, you start to card. And this is gonna kind of blend these together and straighten the fibers. You're also transferring from one paddle to the other paddle. What I did there was I just put those back on this one. So I'm taking them off and then I'm gonna put them back on like that and take them off again. Now, this will make 
a nice little bat. See how I pulled that off? It's still a little bit kind of random on one side, but you could also comb them as much as you want and get them as blended in as you want. And then you just roll that up. This one's kind of tiny, but this would make a great little something for a project, okay? Now, if you don't have these great big hand carters, and when I started needle felting, I didn't have them, you can also use these brushes. Now, these are like for dogs or kitties, and of course, I bought them new and they haven't been used on a pet, of course. Um, and they have long tines and it's the same principle. You just grab your little random bits of fiber. You're just gonna work kind of in a smaller space. But when you're only doing small projects, that's not too bad. You can also get like some bigger dog brushes if you wanted bigger ones. So grab your cart, the fibers that you're going to blend together don't oh, try to overload the brushes because you'll just get kind of frustrated with that. If you were trying to mix two different colors, you could certainly add those colors and experiment with blending your own colors. So now I have this nice little poof of green and it's got some sparkle stuff in it. It's got some really pretty texture and it's all ready for me to use in a needle felting project. Here's another example of some stuff that I have carded up and it just makes it lo lovely, fluffy, airy, and light. Thanks for watching Gypsy Felting. If you have any questions, please uh, enter them in the comments below. And don't forget to follow along for more adventures in needle felting, subscribe to this channel, and visit my Etsy store for supplies and kits for the projects featured here. Thank you.